that you're here with us. So, Lorena, could you tell our listeners uh, who you are, what you do, and what's your favorite pizza? Okay, my name is Lorena, and to borrow from one of my favorite people, Georgie, she described herself as, comma, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but jokes aside, I uh, soy la presidenta de la PSF, uh, co-chair, or chairperson of the Python Software Foundation for a few more weeks until the next election. <laughs> and I work at GitHub in my day job. Well, and then my favorite pizza, I like really spicy pizza. So like jalapenos, like lots of salsa, salsa, salsa picante, anything hot on it, you know? <laughs> Good stuff like that. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, the most picante that I go is pepperoni and that's ¿Por qué? How, because I am allergic. I was going to so. say, porque tu vida es un, una mentira. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if I weren't allergic, probably would be. Oh well, yeah. yes. Well, let's not be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, could you tell us how you started working with data? Yeah. So I started working with data in one of my many former lives because I'm 10 million years old. <laughs> uh, I worked in Las Campañas de like Presidente Obama. So I started my life as a social science researcher with a mathematics background doing what was what us cool kids today call data science, but <laughs> before the term existed, you know, a fusion of programming, of mathematics, trying to understand how we could run a political campaign. So that was back when I was in university and kids, I graduated in 2009. Again, I'm 9 million years old. <laughs> so that's how I started. Well, you still mess around with data today. Yes. What do you do at GitHub? Yeah, so it's interesting. I started originally doing like machine learning and machine learning infrastructure, but since GitHub is a place that we're always responding to the developer community, now I'm actually working in supply chain uh, security. So it's really interesting. We're trying to understand data that people need to understand security vulnerabilities in their projects, their dependencies, ecosystems that they're in, things like that. That speaks to my heart. Yes. Um, and what kind of challenges do you face on your day-to-day -day work? Oof. If you can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I think one of the things, you know, it's, it's, you know, hay dos lados. There's like two sides. It's exciting to discover data that we can do things with. You know, when you have an application like you want to increase healthcare coverage, you want to empower people who haven't had a voice, that's a really great example of how we can use data to help create a solution to make people's lives better. But the same side, with challenges, what we have with data is only the record we record. So inconsistent data, data that has historical biases, prejudices, things like that. So we need to be really conscientious of the data we use. So I think that the challenges we use, like for example at GitHub, we don't collect personal identifying information. And it would be great to be able to pick that information up, but it can be problematic. Mm -hmm. So I think we're always thinking about, you know, what is the correct lens that we can collect data with? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's a very interesting challenge to yes. try to balance out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me something that you love about data. Something I love about data. Um, I have recorded an aggressive amount of telenovela subtitles. <laughs> um, and this is just something that like I have chosen to do. So I've learned a lot of like interesting slang, like from around the world, yeah. <laughs> because this is what I do. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's fun to have those kind of weird passion projects because, like open source, you know, data and open source and all of this goes hand in hand. Yeah. If you have a vision of something you want to try to do, you can go and like find cool ways of like representing the world. One of my favorite, and actually tomorrow at PyCon, there's going to be a NASA engineer talking. And I always just think of engineers at the Jet Propulsion Lab who collect data and do things like think about, you know, how do we get to Saturn? How do we get to the furthest reaches of the universe? So, you know, I just like to think about like, I'm a big sci-fi nerd, so I like to think like what is possible with data. And, you know, it's amazing people like you all creating this and the community of people watching this that we can all together dream. I'm a huge Trekkie, so live long and prosper. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Or live long Python and prosper is my flavor. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Now, to keep a balance, yes. uh, what is something that you hate about it? Oof. It's not sexy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's sexy como like, like, you know, la musica de la <laughs> Like, it is, it's, 
you have to go through the rough edges of it. It's inconsistent. It will tell bad stories. We bring our own biases, as I mentioned a moment ago. And I think it's through going through that. Everyone goes, how do I know how to do something amazing with data? It's not that you know, it's that you get in there, you're doing the work. I call myself a data janitor. <laughs> like that's what I describe my work as. And people are like, what? It's not like the Matrix or something cool where you wear like pleather, like Catwoman outfits. I'm like, no, it's not. Um, it's, it's spending time observing and understanding, which is why I say to everyone, you know, you can have a mathematical mind, you can have an artistic mind, you can be inclined in many ways. Mm -hmm. It's the question and the ingenuity you bring to it. And sometimes that ingenuity is just getting in there and working with data and data's messy. So yeah. be a janitor, you all. <laughs> Uh, if you had to pick one topic, a field that you want to learn more today, what would it be? Mm. I'm actually spending more time in other programming languages because I think mm -hmm. Python, I'm a huge fan of Python because it plays really nice with many languages. And I think um, specifically like in my day job at GitHub, what I'm really fascinated about is how we turn data, uh, how we, t we turn code into data, like how people write, how we express, how we uh, do things uh, again, code is human language is yeah. the way I think about it. So, so I think there's a lot there that we're going to continue to see, like with some of these touch points and, you know, people might think Skynet Terminator is the worst, <laughs> but I, I, I would like to believe that again, like these kind of amazing spaces where you're at mm -hmm. PyCon and we learn how we do these really cool things with data, mm -hmm. um, you know, learning how other ecosystems think about it and we bring our great Pythonic ways to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to, we're going to be awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, mm -hmm. And coming from my data science background, it's actually started with R. Yeah. So yeah, learning all the different oh, things. Oh, I love is, R. Yeah, yeah. It, it is really important. Yeah. Um, what is one big learning that you had by working with data so far? Oof. That I never know anything. Yo no sé nada. En serio, yo no sé nada. Y por eso, like, I'm still humble. Es como mi abuela dice, Lorena, you know nothing. And then one day you die. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a very extreme joke way of saying, like, just be humble. And I think, you know, in spaces where you can have low ego and high collaboration, mm -hmm. I think that's what data does for us. Mm -hmm. When we are willing to collaborate together and, and build really great initiatives. That's how we do things like take an image of a black hole where Python was used, by the way. So, yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you had, if you would like to give an advice for somebody that is starting their yeah. career, what would it be? Fail. Fail all the time. Change your mind. Have opinions. Change your opinion because it's okay. I, it's all about learning. And, you know, two days ago I had opinions about something with uh, F Sharp that I'm learning that I realized was wrong and then it turned into a blog post I'm writing. Oh, so, that's cool. yeah, I think, I think just having an inquisitive mind and being mm -hmm. able, for example, like you, Jessica, and the amazing uh, folks behind, behind the camera, <laughs> I have consistently been humbled to learn with others. And I think just knowing that, like, it's not like you are failing, it's that you're learning to learn with other people. Oh, that's amazing. If you were to recommend a book for someone that is listening to the podcast, okay. which one? Goodness, I've been reading such a strange collection of books recently. <laughs> the City We Became um, by uh, N.K. Uh, Jemison, who won the Ugo Award for sci-fi. She's mm -hmm. a author of color, a black woman, and it's really interesting. It kind of has a global perspective oh, nice. on uh, environmentalism, on the impact of global migration, and there's prominent Brazilian, uh, th there's cities that are characters. So Sao Paulo mm. is a character in this book. Oh, it's very amazing. interesting and is translated in a few languages. So. Oh, that's cool. That's I really think it's, cool. yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting intersection of kind of futurism with like tech and sci-fi. Mm -hmm. And to me, um, understanding lived experiences through many lenses are very important. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And for everybody watching, we're going to add the link to the book that Lorena just uh, gave us in the description of the, the video. And thank you so much, Lorena, for yes. your time. It was amazing. Besitos. Ciao.